Adjusterpedia.com. Hey everyone, Brett with Adjusterpedia.com. Today I want to show you real quick how to add a pony wall, half wall, knee wall. Uh, it's called different things by different people, but basically it's a wall that goes up part way. Uh, sometimes it divides a shower from a tub or maybe there's a half wall that goes up to sort of give someone a little bit of privacy in the bathroom uh, next to a toilet. They also use these half walls separating kitchens from dining rooms and family rooms from kitchens and so forth. You'll see these in different, uh, different houses. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, I went ahead and I sketched a bathroom here. Now, if you're interested in seeing how I got these symbols, uh, as far as the toilet and the tub and the shower and the vanity, uh, we have another video out that goes over uh, how to add toilets and vanities in bathrooms. So check that one out if you get a chance. So anyway, here we go. What I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a wall, a pony wall, half wall, right here. I'm going to sketch it in. Uh, sometimes you'll see these walls separating showers from tubs, and then there's glass that goes the rest of the way up. So let's grab our wall tool. And I'm just going to click in here, and I'm going to draw draw it out here. Maybe it, yeah, we'll go all the way here. And we'll hit Escape to get rid of that wall. So now the next thing you're going to want to do is click on that wall and go to Properties. In Properties, what we need to do is go to this missing end-to-end. -end. This is sort of a funky way how to do it. Uh, I don't know of any other way. So we're going to go missing end-to-end, -end, yes. And so now it basically made that wall disappear. And if we go in 3D view, you can see there's no wall there. So let's go back out of 3D view. Next thing we're going to want to do is click on where that wall is again. It's hiding. It's still there, but it's not visible. Uh, we're going to click on properties and we're going to go to thickness. Now, most standard walls interior wise, once you have the drywall and everything is going to be four inches, we're going to make it four inches. And then the next thing we're going to have to do is go to opening base height. So we're going to just determine how tall that wall is going to be. I'm going to go ahead and put four feet in here. Um, and then the glass will take it the rest of the way up. So now you can see that there's a wall in there again. And if we go to 3D view, you can see that that wall's in there. It's a little ghosted, but it's in there. So that's how you do a pony wall or half wall or knee wall, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to do it one more time real quick. Uh, go to wall. I'm going to make a pony wall, half wall, knee wall, whatever you want to call it right here, just to sort of separate the toilet area so it gives someone a little better view let's move that toilet over center it, a, center it a little bit there we go all right so now what we have to do click on the wall again we're gonna go to properties we are gonna go missing end to end and let me give you an idea real quick before i do that let's go to 3d so now you can see that the wall is actually all the way up here uh, let's back out of 3d and what we're going to do properties Missing end to end. Yes. So now it's just gone. It's still there. You guys got to find it. Yep. Here we go. Yep. Hang on. Where are you at? Wall. Well, there it is. So now what we have to do is wall thickness for inches and then the base height. We're going to make it four feet again and out of there. And now you can see the walls there again. And we'll take a look at it in 3D view. So now people have a little bit of privacy, a little half wall there, separate the toilet from the rest of the uh, uh, bathroom. So if you find this video helpful, please like and share and subscribe to our channel. Thanks. Have a great day.